All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today I'm really excited to be bringing you a new watch from a brand new watch company. Troska is the name of the watch company. I think the company is actually based out of Florida here in the United States. These watches are manufactured overseas in China, uh, but I'll get into a little bit more of that here, telling you about the owner of the company and stuff like that. John Mack, the owner of the company, reached out to me recently about uh, putting these watches, or this watch, the prototype of the DLC on the channel. Really excited to do that. It's also going to be on tour, uh, be going out to all the other, uh, you know, usual suspects on the uh, OFD watch tour circuit. I'll leave links to those channels down below, but I was really excited to take a look at it because I went to the website and kind of learned a little bit more about this. There are a couple of other videos out there on this watch. I'll leave links to those down below also so you can check out some of the different models uh, as far as the colors and stuff like that go. But um, John wanted to basically create, he's a watch enthusiast, and he wanted to create a really good micro brand watch. He has a business background. He graduated from business school in 2016. He's also, it sounds like, fluent in Chinese and in culture and stuff like that. So he was able to travel over to China while these watches were being produced in the prototype stages. And it's my understanding that he went through quite a few different stages to get the watches right to get them exactly to the level of quality he wanted and to have the specifications and basically the design concepts that he wanted to uh, show in these watches. The Free Diver is an absolutely beautiful, classically styled diver's watch. Now the DLC finish on this watch obviously adds this modern feel to it. Also the fact that this particular one has a sapphire uh, bezel insert. But beyond that, the styling, the design of the watch and stuff like that are really your classic style uh, divers watch uh, go, harken, going you know going back many years the unguarded crown the coin edge bezel and stuff like that just really really done well let's go ahead and pause it for a second and get this watch up in front of the camera for a closer view all right guys so here we go getting this free diver the Trosca up here in front of the camera Really beautiful watch. I actually love this DLC finish. I think it's really cool. I have a, a black uh, Ray Raven from years ago, and I love these black watches like this. I think there's just something really cool and tactical about them. But I also love the stainless steel versions they're doing of these watches. Uh, I think Navsan, I'm going to leave a link to his video down below, and also Mark over at Average Bros has done a video on those models. One that I haven't seen a video up yet, maybe there's a, a blog out there on it, but they have a mint a real subtle mint dialed version out there that I think is just awesome, really, really awesome looking. So guys, this watch is, uh, let me get you this, the dimensions really quickly first. From side to side on this watch, minus the crown, you're looking at just right at 40 millimeters. I measured a, uh, excuse me, 39.8 on this watch. And then from lug tip to lug tip on this watch, you're looking at 47.9, so just under 48. You've got a thickness on this watch, just over 13 millimeters is what I measured. And you have a 20 millimeter lug opening on this watch, which is great. If you want to run some different straps or anything like that, you can get away with that because it's such a common size. So looking at the dial here, guys, bringing it up here a little bit closer so you can see it. You guys can see we have these applied indices all the way around. Very thin, but very nicely applied. Uh, and they are full of super luminova. I mean, this watch on the hands and on the indices, very, very bright loom. Let me go ahead and unscrew this crown. Screw down crown, as you guys can see here on the watch. Go ahead and pull this out. We're going to stop the movement because it's actually, this is a hacking and hand windable movement. And I just want to kind of get the hands out of the way so we can get a closer look at that dial there. So right there above the 12, or just below the 12 o'clock position, you guys can see the Trosca logo and the automatic. Down at the bottom above six o'clock, you guys can see the free diver and the 100 meters or 330 feet of water resistance. Now, you know, I know for some people they're gonna go, whoa, a free diver, diver's watch, it's 100 meters. But yeah, I, I think it's okay, guys. I don't, I'm not really too worried about that. I know we get really stressed out sometimes over water resistance. And uh, most of us dust divers think we need a thousand meter divers watch in our collection, but screw down count, crown and screw down case back on this watch. It really meets the needs for anything I'm ever going to do in the water. You know, even if it's, uh, you know, snorkeling or even I think tank diving, you could probably get away with some on this watch. It's not really that big of a deal. Beautifully done. You have the non guarded crown here at three o'clock, as you guys can see. Brushed finish on this case uh, all the way around. 
you do get this signed crown here nicely done at three o'clock. And it's not really sharp, the laser work, or I don't think it's actually laser work. I think it's more embossing is done well. You have drilled lugs on this watch, which is perfect if you want to do strap changes. No date on this NH38 uh, from Seiko is the movement this one is running. It's a 24 joule movement, beating at 21,600 vibrations per hour. Very good workhorse movement. Um, now I'm used to a date, but I think it's really, really nice having a watch with no date on it. It was fun wearing this. I was never worried about, you know, if I had it set right for the date to flip and stuff like that. It's just, you set the time and you go with it. There's something very refreshing, I think, about a, uh, you know, a watch that's just for keeping the time. There's no other functions to it. 120 click bezel on this, uh, this unit and it locks in really, really nice, really good, solid. And as you guys can see on this one, it has the, uh, the sapphire bezel insert. It is also available in stainless steel. This one has loom in the bezel. I'm not sure if the stainless steel one does or not, but uh, that is something to definitely check into. I'm sure it has a loom pip if not. Bracelet on this watch is beautifully done. Now it's all brushed. Uh, most of this case is brushed. You do have this little fine rib here along the top that is uh, polished between the it's between this brushing and the brushing on the top and you do have slight polishing on this chamfer that goes down to this in link here which is very beautifully done i think that's a really neat feature on the case add some class to it but the bracelet is a screw link which is wonderful uh, to have screw links on a bracelet like this and you also have these really nicely done look at these bars guys here on the bracelet on the stainless one it's shiny but it's even i don't know it's really flashy looking on this black dlc model Double push button clasp, of course, fold over here. You do have the logos there, with the Trosca on the flip over clasp and their logo there. Take a look real quick here at the case back where we've got this open. Very nicely done. Again, it's not laser engraved there on the case back. You guys can see how nicely done that is. Uh, you know, it's either heavily engraved and then polished or it's an embossing. You've got the indication of sapphire crystal there, the 24 joule movement, waterproof. Trosca and the stainless steel, all 316L stainless on this watch. So beautiful, beautiful diver's watch here, guys. We'll pause it here just a second and get a shot of this watch on the wrist, and then we'll get a loom shot of it. I think, uh, you know, I think that uh, John has done a really good job on this watch. Uh, these are still prototypes. This is a prototype watch, so they're not in the final production stage yet. Um, but you know, you guys can, I think you can get over to the website and pre-order these. I'll leave the information down below in the description, but very nicely done, John. I like the watch. I think it's a great looking piece. I love these squared off kind of styles cases that have this real rectangular and uh, square feel to them because it's, it, it, it adds to that classic divers look and feel. I love the handset on this watch also. Something beautiful, kind of a cross between like a sword and a spear Almost like a sword hand and a spear hand here, but very nice, very nice. All right, let's pause it here for a second and get this on the wrist, guys. All right, guys, so I have a seven inch wrist, and this watch kind of falls into that perfect size at that 40 millimeter mark. I mean, it really, really feels nice on the wrist. This watch carries a lot of good weight to it. It's, it's got good heft. It's, it feels uh, really nice. This watch retails in this configuration here with the Sapphire insert, even in the DLC finish, it retails at $400. If you go with the stainless steel bezel insert, you're looking at $375. Now, the reason there's no price difference in this DLC finish, I think, and the standard stainless steel is that the stainless steel models are actually coated in a scratch resistant finish that's a clear finish so it actually looks like stainless steel well it is stainless steel but you don't have the black finish like the dlc so i think that's why they're at that same price point you'd think the dlc would be more because of the finish but actually because they're putting a really awesome finish on the stainless ones uh it's the same price so look at that look at that with that domed uh, sapphire there is ar coating on the inside of that sapphire crystal there not a heavily domed it looks like a single dome probably sapphire crystal maybe double dome but Okay, let me pause it and we'll get a loom shot to go out, guys. All right, guys, so let's get this thing fired up for the loom shot. Like I said, this is Super Luminovus. It's going to be Blue Loom. And this is really bright on the hands and the indices. Now, I do wish there was a little bit brighter loom on the bezel insert for the sapphire, but, you know, uh, like I said, this is a 
prototype model. But look at that, look at that loom. I love the way these hands look with that blue loom. Beautiful watch from Trosca. Some reflecto. Flecto, look at that. God, it's, it is a beautiful watch. It wears very well. Nicely done, John and the Trosca group over there. You guys are doing a good job. Nice work. Guys, look for this watch on the tour. Going to be at all the common channels you guys see associated with the OFD channel. And uh, I'll leave links to those channels down below, guys. All right, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you guys have not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. All right, thanks, guys.